here we are. So this in front of you is Flashaboo and uh, it comes in a ton of colors. Now you might be asking yourself, what is this and where can I get it? Great question. I have a link in the bottom. Now this is an affiliate link. Uh, so I get a little bit of a kickback, which that means I get a little bit of money. It's not a lot of money, but it's enough to get me a donut and a coffee from time to time. So, hey, I'm not complaining. Um, but uh, anyways, back to the good stuff. So this stuff here is um, marketed as uh, hair extension material. So like you put it in your hair if you have lo like longer hair. Anyways, it comes in a bunch of colors and this for $11 Canadian, I might add, I got 14 hanks of, of like uh, uh, gold and yellow. Uh, this is uh, pearl. There's red, uh, green, uh, like a coppery, uh, brownish. Um, and by the way, this is all holographic uh, color here. This is blue. This is a rainbow color. This is a darker blue. So this is like blue steely, steelhead blue. And th this is like a kingfisher blue. Uh, there's like a nice soft pink rose goldy kind of color here. This is fantastic. Uh, this is pure purple here. Uh, another like reddish cranberry. Uh, and this is the only holographic, uh, non-holographic one that comes in the bunch. It's a rainbow. Um, and I use all of these. Uh, I didn't show you the silver holographic because I know it's around, I just couldn't find it for this video, but it comes with silver holographic, which is just money. Uh, if you're making like mineral patterns, incredible stuff. The other thing is, is that um, the actual stuff, I think is about 48 inches long. So you could, if you wanna manage it better, you could cut it in half and put it on a hank. And so it's it's like, it's easier to deal with. Um, I will say for $11, you got 14 of these things. There are other manufacturers and other, um, uh, uh, colors to choose from. So you can go on Amazon and go nuts with that stuff. But, um, yeah, that, that's Flashaboo all day. It flows like Flashaboo. I make, um, like I said, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this. Uh, I make a fly. It's a steelhead fly, uh, called the Skittle Thug. And, uh, without this, all this stuff, it would cost me an insane amount of money to make, uh, when I like buy it all a la carte, which I have done. Uh, but then you run out of the flash of be real fast. So for me, this is what I use. I'm sorry. I still will buy Flashaboo from the stores. It's just there's certain colors that you won't find in this kind of stuff here. So you're going to have to go like if you want like a solid copper and that kind of stuff. It's uh, I mean, I guess you could do a little more internet digging and find it. But for me, I'm, I'm good with throwing some cash to them. That's it for that. I want to talk to you about another kind of cool flash. And this stuff here is Easter grass. It's um, this is the time to buy it, by the way. You can find it in dollar stores. That's where I found it. Um, dollar stores. I think you can find it on Amazon, but I've never bought it on Amazon. So I won't provide a link for that. Um, but craft stores, uh, Walmart, uh, Dollarama in Canada, we have Dollarama. Um, you guys might have Dollar General in the States. I don't know what it is out in Europe. So what would you use this for? Well, this stuff here, as opposed to the stuff here is like your regular Flashaboo style. Um, uh, this stuff is more Magnum Flashaboo and everything. But what I like about this one in particular, now there are tons of colors. I'll show you that in a second. But what I like about it is that it's super durable, by the way. I like that it's a little thicker and it's super flowy in the water. It's freaking phenomenal but i like that it's got some solid opaque color here um and it also is mixed with uh with some pearl colors and stuff like that so it's really 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 good for some of my fly patterns that i use um like i said it comes in a bunch of colors uh purple and pink can you tell that i steal head fish i mean come on people um it also uh comes in like i've seen it in a bunch of colors like blue uh green and as well in olive green and i was tempted to buy it but because i have a bunch of like olive green stuff already i i just decided not to i probably might go back because it was all like a t uh, like a two bucks for for all of that stuff so um or sorry per package for that. So for two bucks, I mean, come on. I'm at, at this point, I'm, I'm down like maybe what, like 15, $16 for all this flash that I have. And, uh, I mean, your money goes a long way. Plus the stuff that I've shown you so far, you can make like a million flies with it. I don't think that I'm going to run out of material for at least like three years because I tie a bunch. So anyways, I'm gonna show you another type of Easter grass uh, that I think is really valuable. So here it is. So this stuff here is also called Easter grass. It's a different uh, material. You can buy this at like your Walmart. I actually got it at the grocery store, but I've seen it at Walmart. 
Um, I'm gonna stop crinkling it because it's gonna be really annoying. I have some here uh, out of the package already. Um, so this is like a yellowish color, but when you take it apart um, and you just look at a couple strands, it's very pearlescent. It has that very nice ir ir iridescent uh, color to it. It's really fantastic. If you crinkle it up too, um, before you tie it, it even adds a little more flash. Um, you could put it in like a little jig with like a, I don't know how to explain it with like a tiny gear on it to uh, imprint it so you have that um, lateral scale look to it. I think maybe I'll post a video about how to make lateral scale. That would be kind of fun. So anyways, um, you could do that. Uh, but uh, this stuff is fantastic. If you're familiar with Kevin Feenstra, um, his patterns use a lot of this stuff. It is money. It comes in tons of colors. You can get it in white, uh, pearl. Uh, you can get in blue, pink, green, whatever. Uh, there's tons of that stuff. I want to show you one more product that um, if... Just hold on. See this stuff here? This is Christmas tinsel, okay? Uh, what is it called? Direct, uh, decor ugh, I can't even speak today. Decorative metallic shreds. Okay, there's a problem with this stuff, okay? Especially with this. It's the gold, or not the gold, rather, the, the colored stuff. If you get green, blues, uh, and, and reds in this particular case here, uh, it's not color fast. It, this red will rub off and it doesn't take much to rub off. You hit like one rock and it's gone. So I would stay away from this metallic shred stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't hold up. Other than the red tinsel that I just showed, everything is color fast and everything's super durable, but that red stuff, uh, no bueno. Anyways, the gold stuff here is money. I'm not using this stuff for like fla uh, flash in the sense that I'm, I'm like tying on the shank and letting it flow. It doesn't flow that well. What I use this stuff for is body material. It's really good for that. Um, it, and it's really durable. Uh, the, I mean, the gold stuff is really strong. Like, like it doesn't, it takes a lot of uh, strength to pop in and break it. Um, so it's, it's really good in that respect, but I'm not using it like that. I'm using it to wrap uh, bodies with, especially my muddlers and all that. It's really good for that. I think that's enough about flash. I wanna get into a couple other materials that I have that I think are, are absolutely legit, and here we go. Ostrich, you get 10 feathers in this pack here, and this pack actually, these, these are like, these are legit. These are really nice. I've tied with them for a long time. Uh, and I still have a bunch of them. Um, it depends on what package you get, but like the hurls are just so nice and flowy. So this one has more skinnier fibers. I use both, but um, you know, sometimes when you're spinning up a composite loop and you add uh, some, some uh, of these hurls in there, this one is really good for that. It spins really well. Uh, they're incredible. Now you can get them in different colors. I think red, pink, black, and all that. Now I've never bought those colors and it's not because I'm cheap or anything. It's just, I, I decided to use white for the most part. Now you could add parring to it with like a Sharpie. Uh, you know, you could kind of dot it up with your Sharpie or whatever to kind of get that barred look. Um, but there is another material. Now links is, everything's in the bottom. Um, uh, but so there's a stuff called RIT, okay? And it's a colored dye. And uh, this is the only color that I buy so far in, in RIT. It's black. And the reason why I do that is it's really hard to find uh, a dye that does black well. So that's good. It's also color fast, uh, which is really good. And it doesn't run and it doesn't smudge on your fingers uh, when you rub into it. It just doesn't do that. And I've had tons of black material that I buy from the, uh, from the fly shops that uh, after you tie like one, your hands are like, looks like you played in a bunch of soot or something. So these ostrich plumes and, uh, and this uh, RIT color dye is fantastic. You could buy the black already on the ostrich, but I tend to dye my own feathers from time to time, which is fun. This is, this is just fun stuff to do. So that's why I have it. Anyways, I think that's enough material. That's enough jibber jabber for today. I hope you guys found this helpful. Links are down in the description below. All the best and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.